Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous videos, we saw one of the benefits of a three-phase system, especially when it came to power. The power is constant in a three-phase system, which, may, which means you have a much smoother power transfer to the load, which is much better than if you have a time-varying power distribution to the load. But we can also see that there's additional advantages, one of them which we're going to consider here. Why do three-phase systems save wire? Not only do they save money because you save wire, it also saves because we have less power loss on the lines leading from the source to the load. For, to illustrate that, we're going to consider the power loss in the wires only, the wires leading from the source to the load, not in the wires in the source or the wires in the load. Secondly, we're going to consider that the load is resistive in nature, therefore we have no phase angle. It's not necessary to prove that you save wiring when you have a three-phase system, but just makes the equations a little bit easier to deal with. So if we have a two-wire single-phase system, what is the power loss? Of course, we have to consider the power loss on the wire going and the wire coming back from the load. Since we know that the power loss on the wire is I square R and there's two wires, the power loss therefore is twice I square R. Rearranging the terms, we have 2R times I of the line, the line current squared. And of course, the line current can be expressed in terms of the power and the voltage. Notice that the power is I times V, therefore I is P over V. So instead of writing I, we could write P over V. And this is in relation to the line voltage and the line current. Now let's consider a three-wire, three-phase system. What is the power loss in that case? Well, we already saw on the previous video that the line that the power per phase is equal to the square root of the three times the line voltage times the line current times the cosine of the phase angle. Of course, in this case, the phase angle is zero, so the cosine of zero is one. We can ignore that. If we then solve this for i, you can then see that i is equal to p divided by the square root of three over v. In other words, the line current A, the line current B, or the line current C, all are equal in magnitude, and they're equal to the power to the phase, or the power per phase, divided by the square root of 3, divided by the line voltage. So therefore, the power loss can be written as 3 times, because now there's 3 wires, 1, 2, 3. It's 3 times I square R. Of course, for I, we have to use the line current, the current leading to the load. So it's 3 times the line current squared times r. Rearranging the terms again, it's 3r times i squared. And i, again, as before, can be written as p divided by the square root of 3 times v. And therefore, you can see that when we square this, we square the square root of 3 in the denominator, which would then cancel out the 3 here. And we end up with the power laws in a three-wire system like this, a three-wire, three-phase system, is equal to r times P over V quantity squared. Now let's compare the two results. This is what we got when we had a two-wire, one-phase system. This is what we got when we had a three-wire, three-phase system regarding to the power loss. If we now compare the two, notice the ratio of the power loss in a single-phase system versus the power loss in a three-phase system. It is two times R p over v squared divided by 1 times r p over v squared. In other words, the power loss in a single phase system is twice as high as the power loss in a three phase system. That's a big deal. That makes a big difference. We use a, lose a lot less power on the wiring and therefore it is a much more desirable system. So not only do we have constant power, we also have power savings, less loss on the wire. Now, that didn't yet explain why three-phase systems save wire. Hmm, it does save power, but does it save wire? Well, for that, we need the second part to this video to explain the rest of that. So you can see that not only do we save power, we also save actual physical wire, less wire required in three-phase systems. Stay tuned, we'll show you that in the next video.